Cuz, nigga, <laughs> fuck is you saying? What? Man, you had to touch bases with me? Say, Cody, look what I got right here. Look what I show you, homie. Look what I show you right here. Who is that? <laughs> My fucking homie, look. My homie, Cody, what? Got your picture, Red. Right? Come on. Guess what I got in front of me right now? I'm being, I got you. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the homie Cody. The fuck is he saying? Yeah, I got Diamond Stone TV in the house recording me right now, setting up shop. You hear me? Yeah, real talk. OG <laughs> Percy, man, we back with another one. Ain't we, man? Ain't we, man? Okay, 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 okay. Hey, man, uh, what you been up to, man? Say, man, staying out the way, staying out the way, trying to see another day. Yeah. Yeah, trying to see another day, man. Say it's a lot of, a lot of blocking on the block. You know what I'm saying? Just another day on the block. That's good enough for me, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah real yeah. time. Hey, before we, before we just get into this interview, man. Right. Uh, the shirt that you got on, man. Oh, you want to see what I got on today? Yeah, this is the Say, shirt, oh. man. It's live from the block. Yeah, live from the block. Live from the real block, man. Live from the block. Anybody that's been live on the block with me and, and know what I'm talking about, they see this shirt right here. They know what that is on the front of that shirt. That was that nigga right there. Zoom in on that nigga right there, the face yeah. of that nigga. That was that nigga that they had to come on Ferguson and see, man. That's that, they know any, any real niggas that, they know, that never had one of these issued to them. Right. Yeah, you get these issued. You don't get these free. You can't go get this at the DPS. You know what I'm saying? This ain't at the driver's license place. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't go get this at the Social Security office. None of that. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah, you got to go down there and get this. You get this right here. Yeah, you got to go down there and get this. Yeah, live from the block, man. Live from the block. And I ain't talking about battle rap either. Y'all see the idea says what offender on that motherfucker. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, man. That's they got you. young IDs up in here. You dig yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, IDs. This is where the IDs go, You know what I'm talking about? But we turn them up when we get out, man. I put them on the shirt for a reminder so I never go back, man. Yeah. So, I'm, and see, yeah. so you say you say you uh, you put it on the shirt to remind you never to go back. Yeah, to remind me. It's a reminder. You know what I'm saying? It's a fashion statement for me. Right. Yeah, it's a fashion statement for me, man. A lot of people see me with that shirt, they look at it, they be like, man, this nigga, this nigga, he crazy. This nigga got his ID on the front of his shirt. Yeah. Yeah, y'all go get your ID on front of your shirt. See how cool it look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, tell them, yeah. And, and tell them, look at the date. My, 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 my first number, 55, 70, 23. All you niggas that know your numbers, y'all look that number up. That's my number, 55, 70, 23. Yeah, you niggas in the 1300s, 1400s, probably in the 2000s now. Mine, 55. 70, 23. Yeah, the two millions now. You dig what I'm saying? That right. type of shit. Damn. That's crazy. Hey man, uh last time last time we leaked, man, I know we was talking real heavy about, you know what I'm saying, Ferguson unit. Um that there, there are some other units that you was that you was on. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Uh but we like everybody wanna hear about Ferguson because you know Right, it's, right. It's it's lie. It's, it's lie. It's yeah, it's so uh so kinda tell me like some of the other units that you was on. That was that was notorious. Yeah, that was notorious. Yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all something. I um, I did state jail time. Right. State jail is a um. It's 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 fast time, and it's it's automatic time. You get you get six months state jail. You do six months state jail. A lot of niggas think prison is doing prison is a lot of time. You know, hard time. But I'm gonna tell you, them niggas down there, they rock at them state jails. They rock, they fight, cause they know they going home anyway. It don't matter what you do in prison. Right. You can catch a case and get a disciplinary and it'll set you back a couple of months. Right. A couple of years, five years at the most. Right. You dig what I'm saying? And, uh, but state jail, that motherfucker is, uh, it rock and roll. I've been to Lindsay State Jail, Dawson State Jail, Hutchinson State Jail. Yeah. Been to Middleton, been on Gurney, I've been on Gore You dig right. what I'm saying? I've been to Huntsville. You dig know what I'm saying? I ain't took my I took my world tour, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to prison, but one year I went to um, Lindsay Unit. Anybody remember me on Lindsay Unit, they know Lindsay is a prejudice unit. Prejudice unit. It's a prejudice it's unit. It's a white boy unit. Where is it at? It's in Jacksboro, Texas. Jacksboro. Yeah. Right. Jacksboro, what you know, what what them folks at down there? Yeah. The people. The KKK, you know, that's their shit down there. Yeah. And they send a majority of you know, white boys down that way. You dig what I'm saying? They hard hitters, the woods. You know, the square business white boys. When I hit Lindsay, when I hit Lindsay on it, you know, 
I was called that as soon as I got off the bus. Demerson. Who's Demerson? I said, I'm Demerson. I just got off the bus. We caught the bus, you know. I'm like, what the hell he want with me? So he, the man got me, took me to the back. Him and about six more officers took me to the back. They said, Mr. Demerson. Now that tough guy shit you got going on, I, I just got there. Right, so they already know. Yeah, yeah, they, they already, already my record said, I'm confirmed, I'm confirmed. I'm not like these other crip niggas. They got this little bitty crip you can't see when they go down, oh, I'm not in no game. First thing niggas know they game banging. A lot of niggas say right, they ain't this. this time your tattoos is fresh too. Yeah, everything nice. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I get, I get tatted everywhere I go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, put, put some marks on me. And uh, white man took me back to let me know that they unit was square business. He said, Mr. Dems, we have a problem with you, we're gonna let you know right now. We'll put the hands on you over here. I'm like, God damn, where all this shit come from? I ain't did nothing. You hear me? And uh, I said, yes, sir. I looked at him like, yes, sir. He says, oh, we're gonna have a problem out of you? I said, no, sir. He said, we're gonna get back in the line. So I went and got back in the line. I'm like, damn. My homeboy next to me said, damn, what happened? What'd he say? I said, shit, ain't say nothing. Right. <laughs> you know, ain't say shit. What talking about nothing? I don't even know where that came from. Let you know I was a marked man before I got there. Shout out to my nigga Big Dank. Big Daniel Wilson. Fort Worth, Bright Street. Hollywood Crip Gang. Yeah, yeah, he was down there with me. He know how to ride it out. Wait, wait, what you say? Shout out to Big Daniel Wilson. Daniel Wilson, we call him Big Dank. Bright Street, Hollywood yeah, Crip okay. Gang. Yeah, Hollywood Crip Gang. Y'all know Big Daniel? Yeah, everybody know Big Daniel Wilson, man. You know what I'm saying? We call him Big Dank. That was my teddy bird down there. You dig what I'm saying? Uh. -huh. He witnessed all the madness. Shout out to Brown Eyes, Green Eyes, his brother Green Eyes, Brandon. He was down there with me. Got a story about that little nigga too. But anyway, I hit that motherfucker man and up. This is the first unit I ever been on, state jail wise. Right. It was state jail mixed with prison. Prison on one side, state jail on the other side. Where everybody was just doing time, just in different parts. You know. Walking around, I seen a lot of niggas, you know, when I first got there. I ran into Lala, shout out to Lala from the neighborhood. Neighborhood Crip Gang, Lala, man. Shout out to Lala, man. I ran into Lala, man. Bell's Artillery's Crip Gang down that way, man. And Lala seen me, say, Percy, when you get her, I just got her. So he knew we weren't gonna go to the store for about another two weeks. Yeah. So Lala came over and shot me some soups. Shot me some soup, little meat pack, three cigarettes. I'm like, okay. You know, niggas in her starving. I'm gonna be eating because niggas from the phone are already looking out for me on some G status shit. Oh, they know G -shit. who I am. Just off street yeah. name. Yeah, who I am. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm a real nigga off them streets. So, um, niggas shopping my shit. And so they put my little shit in my locker. Me and my partner and then they caught the chain. We, we went out to play some basketball. When I come back in, all my shit gone. I'm like, God damn. Now, I must be at the wrong bunk or something because I look at my little locker under there and all my shit gone. I'm like, God damn. I'm looking around, you know, I'm sizing shit up. I just got here, you know what I'm saying? Somebody in the Yeah, somebody went in my locker. This is the first unit I ever went to where the white boys was the gangsters. Okay, okay, I got you. Got you. The white boys. The white shit don't even sound real. This is the first unit I went to where the white boys was the gangsters. The white boys ran Lindsay unit. I can say John R. Lindsay, the white boys run it. Jacksboro, Texas. That's yeah. like being in Plantigo, my nigga. You yeah, hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like nah, being in Plantigo. Yeah, they run that down there. It's like being in Cleveland jail. I done been in that bitch too. Cleveland, the green, the red, the blue. I've been off in that bitch rocking. Yeah. Cleveland, Texas. But, um. Yeah. Walking in, the white boys was sitting over there. And I know damn well, everybody in this little section don't go to the store the next three weeks. Shouldn't, shouldn't nobody have shit to eat because I just got mine in. I'm the only. And I hear the white boys in the car. Rattling my soups and shit. Buzzing them down, hitting them on the floor like they took that. So, um, I told one nigga that was from Fort Worth with me, I said, say, man, come walk over with me, man. I think these white boys went in my locker, man. You understand me? We get over there. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. Let me say, I ain't never been nowhere where white boys ain't scared of no niggas. Right. We on locker, white boys are always scared of niggas. I'm telling y'all, real talk. You got some square business ones. I'll get to them later, but white boys ain't scared. This is the first place I've seen a white boy didn't. Hey man, we did that. On some on some on some white boy shit, some racist shit. So um I go down to say, um, check this out, man, them my suits. I looked at them, all three of them, I seen everything that I had in my locker sitting on the white boy shit. That's my shit. I tell the white boy, I said, y'all went in my locker and took my shit. I had one nigga with me from Fort Worth that he caught the bus with me. No, I got a the pen to see if he gonna stay strong. Yeah. 
really. All I need him to do is stand there and look like, like he like he gon' help. I don't need you to do a bitch ass thing. Fuck me. I got this. Just stand your bitch ass there and, and look like you gon' help me, nigga. White boys jump up and they get on their gangster shit. Nigga, we ain't took, say man, we ain't took nothing from y'all. We ain't took nothing from y'all. First one that said something to me, I took flight on it. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, wait, so, so soon as he said something, yeah, he ran off said, of Yeah, when he jumped up, he said, hey, we ain't took nothing from you, man. We ain't took nothing. And there it is. I took flight on him. I yeah. took, took flight on him. One white boy, when I took flight on him, the other white boy started laughing. And I took flight on him, too. Yeah. I took flight on that white boy, too. Man, and the other white boy jumped up and asked me, what the fuck is going on? What's going on? So you better tell your, your homeboy, you ain't finna let nobody in this bitch take shit from me. Yeah. Give me my shit. I got my shit off the white boy buck, and I went back to my bed. Yeah. I went back to my bunk. By like 12 o'clock that night, they called the shower crew. Say shower crew coming in. It's about like four white boys came in with mop buckets and mops and shit. And they said, where's he at? When I looked up, and I just came on my look, I said, God dang. Say them white boys big like they come off wrestling. You heard me? Yeah. I just, I'm still, I still got my county fresh out the county jail workout. No body on, goddamn me. So, 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 um, this was when you first, like, this was one of the first jails you went to, though, right? One of state, the jail. State, state jail, state jail, state jail. Right. Yeah, state, state jail over in Jacksboro, Texas. Only, I was only sentenced to one year over there. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had to do a full year over there, that motherfucker. You know? Right. Make a long story short, these white boys coming there to look for me because they want to see the nigga that jumped on the white boys. Right. I got my back, I jumped out of victory. You can't show no weakness. Any sign of weak me, any sign of weakness, my nigga, I, I you know niggas know when you feel weak. If you hear them talking about you and you don't say nothing, you scared. Yeah. I jumped up and stood my ground. These white boys. White boys to me, well, no disrespect to the real woods, but I never gave a fuck call them white girls. We got white girls, what's up? Y'all looking for me? White girls. He said white girls. Yeah, what white girls. You four white girls, y'all looking for me. I'm like, what are you talking about? He said, no, man, we heard that you, you was over here fighting on something. Yeah, I said, I'm going to fight any motherfucker to take something from me. Any motherfucker here try to take something from me, act like they're going to take something from me, anything. We're going to get that. The yeah. white boy said, hey, oh, they took something from you? I said, yeah, they took my goddamn soups out of my life. He said, oh, we didn't know they had stole something. We just, he said, but um, all right, I'm sorry about that. He said, whatever, what did they take? I told him what they took. He said, we're going to replace that double. He said, because we don't tolerate no stealing in the woods. He was a wood. He was ABAC, Avery Brotherhood and Avery Brother Sir. Right. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they replaced my shit and they went over and they dusted them. The white boys that I fought that didn't fight me back, they smashed them out. And I said, woo. And when I seen them whoop them white boys in that shower, I'm glad, I'm glad they don't even get a hold of me. You heard me? Yeah. <laughs> Say, man. Hey, but I stood my ground though. You know what I'm saying? If it would've went down, I just had to protect myself. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But, but, but you know, <laughs> after I seen they work, I was like, woof. Man, I'm talking, they work clean too. Them white boys was nice. A couple of weeks, they sent us down They sent us down to the road. Make a long story short, I, I went in there long, I sized up everything. And I'm like, damn, ain't no niggas in here cripping? Ain't no crips in there, motherfucker? Niggas cripping, but you don't know they crips. Right, I was gonna say, they, they, There's a lot of blood niggas in there. Right. Let's get to the story at hand. There's a lot of blood niggas in there. A lot of EWP niggas, not Stop Six niggas, a lot of Truman Street niggas. Yeah, they was in there. Yeah. G Lo was in there. The nigga that I caught up in, in the Winston Project, they caught me coming out the Winston, he was in there. Yeah, Terry Gray was in there. Yeah, them niggas was out in there. So when I came in there, I'm like, damn, these, these gloves and set me up. They put me in here with all these blood niggas. Little Evil was in there. Nigga, fuck y'all talking yeah. about, nigga. Let's get to the story, nigga. You know, when I walk in there, the blood niggas, you know, they, they, that's like blue, loud, blah, blue, black, bling, blue, blank. You understand me? I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm not, I don't like, I, I didn't fuck with, but I was still gang banging then. I ain't really fuck with blood niggas. You know what I'm saying? So, um, them niggas kept going on with the blood shit, the blood shit. And my, they just burning my motherfucking ears up with the bullshit. Right. You know? And they would do this shit every day. And I, you know, I kind of think, you know, hey, I'm doing my time, as long as the nigga don't say nothing to me. Little Antoine was in there. So, um, one day she, I was sitting at the table. I seen the blood nigga playing dominoes. G-Lo, R.I.P. G-Lo, he dead now. Blood nigga, after win some project. Shout out to Benny Boy, man. And, um, they got into the dumb old table and the nigga G-Lo called a little white boy a bitch. Now, let Ryan me, the white boys, run this shit. 
Don't get it wrong. Stick to the plane. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah, blood yeah. in here. Right. I seen an example of Gelo called a white boy a bitch, and the white boy jumped up like, hey, white boy little in the motherfucker. What trying to hurt? Right. He went and put his tennis shoes on. And he came back. He told G Lo to get after. G Lo, he said, oh man, I was just playing. He said, man, you call me a bitch at the table. Come on here. Come on here. White boy ready to fight. So I'm looking at the blood niggas. So I said, oh, she's gonna go down now, cause uh, there's some blood niggas. So they said, man, go on, no, man. Ain't nobody trying to fight and all that shit. He said, well, man, ain't no bitch. Ain't no bitch. I'm like, damn. Right. Uh, blood nigga, get that white boy. Get the little white boy. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna say, he don't fuck with the white boy. Later that night, it was a Friday, goddamn me. I started this on Lindsay Young. I, I started Fight Night Friday on you every Friday. I started that on Lindsay Young. When you started uh, Fight, Fight Night, Night Friday. Fight Night Friday. Every every Friday. Fight Night Friday. And I started it like this, cause that night, they were the blood niggas, they would listen to their radios, the goddamn me music crunk. We we don't gotta go to bed, it's late night rack. Niggas up doing their thing, the headphones jamming. And here they go, boom, boom, boom. They right. they bleeding, they hitting bees, and I'm standing there and while I'm standing there, the niggas walk up. You know, while I'm standing there like this, niggas walk over and hit bees and lock bees right in front of me. Like this. You know, in my foul felt disrespect, so I knocked the niggas' bees loose. I said, what the fuck you niggas doing, cuz? Cool? Y'all niggas know I'm a crip. Don't be throwing that shit up in front of me. Throwing. That nigga say, what? That nigga say, what you talking about? He hit me up and I took flight on G-Lo. Off the rip, I took flight on him. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, nigga. Then the little, little pot of Terry. Terry Gray, blood nigga. He was sitting right there with it. He said something. He said, man, what you doing? Then he said, what I'm doing, nigga, I took flight on him. I took flight on him, bing, bing, bing. Love nigga, blood nigga came over and said, man, what's up? He said, man, what you doing, man? I said, nigga, keep throwing that shit up. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm fucked up in the head. I was fucked up. I didn't know, they was throwing up the six. They just throwing up six. They weren't throwing up the B. But you know, I was, oh. I, they was throwing up stop six. We just throwing up, the, we was hitting sixes. They was hitting, I don't, all that shit look like blood to me. You yeah. didn't like, so, so now nah, don't hit that in front of me. And I took flight on them niggas. And I smoked them niggas game. The other blood nigga didn't do no. So I was in the bunk the next day. Real true story. True story. I was laying, I had my head on my bunk laying up. Goddamn me. Full of that conversation. Then I heard a nigga say, oh, here them niggas come. Here them niggas come. It was about like, about like seven, eight blood niggas fell out of place to come get me. They ran up in there on that motherfucker. They said, where he at? Where he at? The nigga, the little evil was leading the pack. The little goddamn me rash face nigga. Lil Eve, he know what I'm talking about. The one with the, eat with the rash on his face. Lil Eve, he was leading the pack, little skinny nigga. I jump up out the bunk. Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. I jump, ask me, I jump up out the bunk nigga, and I stood my ground again nigga. By myself, yeah, I stood my ground. Cause remember when I got that, one of these nigga, one, none of these niggas that been saying they was Crips. You dig what I'm saying? And, and, and all these niggas were blood, all I heard was blood shit going on in this hole. You understand me? So they came to get me. I said, nigga, here I go right here, nigga. And the nigga said, yeah. He said, you they said you over here jumping on niggas that's throwing up stop six. I said, now nah, I'm here throwing, I'm over whooping niggas that throw up blood in my face, nigga. Disrespect me. My thing is this. If he if he can fight the white boy, after the white boy charged him up and put his tennis shoes on, bitch don't never throw no shit on me. Cause I know some real forward blood niggas that would have told that white boy ass off the bone. Right. Get what I'm saying? And I feel like, nigga, if you can get, to, get at that white boy, bitch don't ever throw this shit up around me. That's on some murder worse shit. I know real blood niggas. And you niggas ain't, you niggas didn't rock right. I just seen a white boy charge you up, nigga. Now you, all of a sudden you tough when it come down to a crib, nigga. Because it's 12 of y'all on one. Nah, nigga. So the little evil, yeah. Little evil say, what, what you mean? I say, the white boy, he called the white boy a bitch. The white boy called him out, he didn't fight. Them blood niggas went over there. Little evil now. And the rest of the little blood niggas went over there and smashed the shit out that white boy. Smashed. Now, now that's for worse shit. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. That's what that nigga supposed to do. He didn't do it. So little evil was on. He was on that shit. Like he was on it. Yeah. He was on it. But then little evil, we gonna, we, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let that story ride. I'm gonna let that ride. But man, you know little evil. Yeah. Then little evil went to lock up. You understand me? Because y'all scared me. Because they scared me. They scared me. They made that. They, they made me look. They made me think they were gonna do something to me. You know, goddamn, if niggas, I felt like y'all ran down on me, and I felt like they were gonna hurt me, gonna do something to me, so, on some crib shit, ass eye eyeball was there, OG Peanut from Allen Street, yeah, he was there, fuck y'all talking about, you heard me, yeah, yeah, eyeball, Peanut, goddamn, how can I got name uh, OG Peanut, Daniel Wilson, goddamn it, Big Pollywood, he was down there, yeah, start, my story clean. I was gonna shoot at Evil, cause Evil, goddamn it, he was leading the pack. 
When he was leading the pack, I felt like he was the one I needed to get. You dig what I'm saying? We didn't see him no more. You understand me? He went to lock up. I didn't never get to collide with him. There was a nigga over there named Bubble Crip, the only nigga that, you know what I'm saying, that, that was live, neighborhood. Bubble Crip, you know, he had about 20 good fights under his belt, and I was trying to catch him. You know what I'm saying? And we fought every day. We fought the white boy every Friday we fought. Every every Friday we fought. And I almost got clicked over there because I ain't never seen so many niggas running around with black eyes. Right. Nigga, what? I say, these niggas be over here fighting like that? Shout out to Little Evil. I fuck with you, my nigga. You know, but you know, shit, facts is facts. You dig what I'm saying? I ain't gonna take that back. You hear me? <laughs> no beef, nigga. <laughs> yeah, it's a true story, though. True story. Niggas know I'm square bitten. Yeah, but, um, Got over there, man. So many niggas run around with black eyes. I think I'll fight three and four white boys a day. Damn, three and three and four. Yeah, I started learning about. See, let me tell you, niggas. We got a lot of crib shit on us. A lot of crib shit on us, man. Them white boys got 11 tray on. I just say, damn, these white boys got gang sets on. A lot of them run around with 11 tray on their neck. A lot of them run around with goddamn lightning bolts with, with swash stickers. Lightning bolts with, you know, the clap, the lightning bolts on the swash stickers on their arm. Motherfucker got big KKK on them. They everywhere. White boys everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Shout out to Lolo. He was over there with me. Shout out to little Sid. Pollywood Sid said. Sid said he was over there rocking with me. You dig what I'm saying? Rocking with me. Riverside. Shout out to my nigga Riverside. He was over there rocking with me. You dig what I'm saying? On Lindsay units. And so on. I started learning about the white boys' cultures, but you know, why did all this racist shit going on? It was different kind of white boys. Aaron Brotherhood, Aaron Circle. The white knights, the BDW, the dirty white boys, right. all type of white, they, but they all had cliques, but the, to make a long story short, all of them didn't like niggas. Right, right, right. That's one thing all of them had in common, fuck a nigga. A nigga ain't shit. Mm -hmm. They didn't been to you, you could tell they whooping these niggas over. Nigga get out of line, the white boy jump on them. Some of them white boys, you know, <laughs> get a time with their jaws and their hands and shit on that mess, and they scrap in it, they ready to whoop a nigga. And they gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I never get his old man at the at the matchbox. He stayed at the old man called old man Jones or something. He, he lived at the matchbox. He won my set. Out. He said, he said, look out, person. Look out, person. He called me. He said, come here real quick. He said, you know what? I, I've been watching you since you've been here. He said, man, I sure don't like the way these white boys doing, man. That white boy just keep won't let me sleep, won't get let me. I said, what white boy? He said, he said there you go right there. Won't let me sleep. And, and called me a nigga this morning. But you know, Pops know he couldn't whoop the white boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Pops played chess with me. <laughs> yeah, hey, 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 right there, it was time to do Pops was playing chess though. He knew chess I did. Yeah. He knew you know, I yeah, know chess now. But white. now that I know chess, I know chess. You and he was from the six. Yeah, he was from Stop Six. He was working at the matchbox. He said just the old school nigga. Uh um, called me over and said, Yeah, that's the white boy. And we look, he said, that's the white boy right there. That's him right there. I said, that's him right there. I said, say, say, come on, man. Say, come on, white girl. White boy, like, what? I said, come on. I say, uh, you just respect my pop this morning. It's my uncle right here. Dry lie. You hear me? I get down. Yeah. Yeah, you just respect my uncle, my nigga. He said, what are you talking about? I said, you called my uncle a nigga this morning? I say, man, I was just telling him to keep the noise down. I, uh, 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 bitch. She never say nothing to my uncle like that. Yeah. Well, take your bitch ass on, walk on around this track, ho. White boy had a knot on his shit big. Went back inside the block and I took off on two more white boys. Racist. I never was a racist type of person. I went, I didn't grow up in a household where my mama taught me to, to hate people. I don't think no blacks did. You dig what I'm saying? Didn't know the white boys was raised like this in their household not to like us, communicate with us. She, you know, she, lock up is lock up. I took care of, I didn't know nothing about all the racism shit. You know, the deep shit. But I didn't, when I found out they didn't like me, I ain't never met a tough white boy in the country. Never in my life, bitch. We used to make him sit on the floor in Ferguson, nigga. Fuck you talking about, bitch. I don't sit on the bench. You don't sit on the floor. Ask them. They ain't never seen a white boy sit on the bench. But my white boy, Cody. Shout out to Cody, cuz. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Cody, the lost loke, man. Yeah, shout out to my nigga Cody. He just gave me a call a while ago. Yeah, that's the only white boy sit on the bench on Ferguson. White boy sit on the fucking floor, nigga. Better not catch a white boy sitting. Go down the goddamn floor and play mother. Yeah. And, and what unit was this? That's, you said they y'all made them on Ferguson. Oh Ferguson, yeah, on Ferguson they sit on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, on Ferguson unit. State jail, they gonna sit on the bench. They can sit. They Cadillac. They, it's a lot of units, man, that put up these white boys. You know what I'm saying? Cause they don't want they niggas fucking with them. White boys got money. Money can get you sent to any unit. 
<laughs> to live right. You dig what I'm saying? You fuck up, go to Ferguson, get your ass out of there. You hear me? I'm yeah. telling you. I'm te it's the Gilligan Island of Penitentiaries. You understand? Once you own that hoe, ain't no way out. Ain't no way off that hoe. Yeah. Yeah. But in a body bag or in a goddamn airplane, we we just curve flighting the shit out of niggas. You hear me? The helicopter had his own fucking landing station. Yeah. 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 That's nigga, so okay. So nigga, that's, the hearse that's, stayed, the so stayed in the hearse stayed in the back. So yeah. that's where that's where the curve flight came. Yeah, came curve from. flight. Yeah, you get curve flight at first. You can hear the helicopter coming, my nigga. They got their own landing strip. They know that's the only way you're getting off this hoe. Wow. You understand Damn. me? Nah, it's real talk. I'm seeing a lot of niggas hang themselves trying to get off that hoe. But back to the mission at hand. I remember a little brand, Green Eye Brand, Hollywood, Big Daniel Griffin, Big Daniel Wilson, brother, uh, came to Ferguson. I mean, came to Lindsay Unit. And he came in that bitch just like I was, fighting, fighting, fighting. And he was a fighter. And they had a place on, on Lindsay called FOD. FOD was a place that they put the bad acts. It was a cage with a chicken coop around it. Shout out to my nigga Sid Sid. He was in there doing life. <laughs> I said a life sentence in that hoe. You hear me? Till he go home. Shout out to Riverside. He went into that motherfucker with me. Daniel Griffin. Yeah, he was in that hoe with me. You understand me and um? But this place was the place that they put niggas. To make my story short and go fast, the white folks got me out of population because I was too much of a threat to the white boys. I was jumping on their white boys, whooping their white boys. So they locked me down in solitary. Right. One of the laws said I threatened to say I'm gonna cut his neck. I never said nothing to the white man, but they used that, locked me up. I ain't gonna never I was too smart to threaten them one of the officers. I fuck with inmates, I don't fuck with you laws. You dig what I'm saying? Right. I do my time the smart way. So um they was hearing that I was down there whooping the white boys, so the white boys locked me up. They was racist, they motherfucking self. Right. Make a long story short, I was back then, I was hiding in the bubble crib and there was a blood nigga out of um I remember his name while I'm talking, it was a blood nigga out of Grand Perry. And a Grand Perry supposed to be no good with his hands, he was down there whooping the shit out of people. But FOD is a place where they put everybody, it's a chick, got chicken coop around, you can't see out that motherfucker. You see in, you can see out, but you can't see in, it's fucked up. It's fucked up barbed wire, where you can't, it wants to put you in there, it's like throwing a nigga in the lines then. You dig what I'm saying? And everybody was scared to go, that was they torture down there on Lindsay unit. That right. shit was un un unconstitutional, you dig what I'm saying? Right. So, um, but it was they, that was, it was they punished me. You fuck up, that's where you go. If you're a bad actor, they gonna right. see you. But um, they, me and the white, me and this Nick Blood nigga had got into it. And the dog was talking to Bubba Crip out the neighborhood. And I was like, Bubba Crip, we rocking. So I heard a, I heard a Blood nigga yell down and say, Bubba, who you talking to? He said, oh, that's person. That's the person, man, out of folk where he said, oh, that's that, oh, that's that crab ass nigga that be jumping on all the white boys. They be whooping on the white boys. Right. So I'm looking like, damn. That nigga say crab ass nigga that be whooping on the white crab. You know, one thing about solitary, I don't give a damn how mad you get back there, you can't do nothing. You're in a lockdown facility, five by seven, nigga, locked down. You can't get out. So niggas are sale warriors. Niggas are call you bitches, hold through the door all day, cause they know you can't get to them. You dig what I'm saying? And I fell for it. Here I go yelling through the goddamn door screaming, oh bitch that nigga, when you ever you see me, nigga, we coming back up, we gonna do that, we gonna fight, nigga. He be like, yeah, whatever then, nigga. So, so, yo, crab that nigga. I said, oh man, I'ma get this. Now we back here in solitary, so on. Um, to make a long story short, one of the laws that working on that shift that night was sitting there listening to the whole conversation. So when a new shift came in that morning, he let them know, you know, Percy and uh, the Davenport guy got into it last night. Right. They, they was talking about fight. Real tough. And the law was like, what? You gotta be kidding. And they were like, and, and the laws played chess with us. They played chess with us. What you mean when, when you say that? That evening, the, the, the dude, the Davenport nigga got shipped to F4D. I was back there for a bogus case and I had been back there about three or four weeks. The place was driving me crazy back there in that hole. Right. And um, so the argument went down. The law heard he told the other law, so they let this Michael Bird. His name was Michael Bird. <laughs> Michael Bird out of Dalworth, man. Yeah, Michael Bird. Yeah, I knew the name was cause I, I don't know the nigga. Yeah, nigga, blood nigga out of, out of, out of Dalworth named Michael Bird, man. That was the nigga name, you know. They said they shipped that nigga to F4D, man. So one of the laws come back and say, Dimson, you want to get from back here out this goddamn hole? I look at the loud like, yeah, 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 yeah. I want, man, can y'all please get me from back here, man? He said, yeah, I'll get you from back here. He said, huh? Now they might be sending you to F4D. What I gotta go to F4D for? I ain't did shit. Y'all just drive out. He said, well, you know, it's up to them. You know, you want to stay back here or go to F4D? Well, shit, shit, send me to F4D. Did Michael Bird just went to F4D? I said, yeah. 
He said, well, let me go down here and talk to the war and see if I can get you from back here, man, because you just drive back here, you get you the FOD, you do your little 30 well, days dude, over there. That dude, that dude just got caught up. He had already made his little old bun. They, they run you in front of the committee while you're in said, and then they'll place you in medium custody, right. major custody, place FOD, you go to FOD, then you go to um, um, medium custody after that. So um, the laws know they had shipped this nigga down there, so my law name was goddamn me Captain, Captain um, whatever his name, Coach. We call him Coach. Big old golf, big golf. Big white boy named golf. Hands big as a mother, hands bigger than me and yours put together. One hand. Yeah. <laughs> hand. You got to slap the dog shit out of niggas. Right. Yeah. Honky. Straight up honky. Redneck. Yeah. Pepperwood. D don't fuck with no niggas, but he love person. You yeah. dig what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Gotcha. You know. Old golf came out and made my bun, and it had a law named Creason that was a KKK officer that didn't like me. He made Michael Bird bun. Come to find out, Michael Bird was Creason fighter. And golf, I was golf fighter. And we used the pawns on the goddamn chessboard. Not knowing this to the end. So um, they put me back in there. I went to go see the committee. The committee said, well, we're going to let you go to FOD. And we'll just go back and pack your stuff and we'll send you on down. I'm like, all right, shit. I'm out of solitary. Get out of solitary. I'm going to FOD. I get I'm back and pop, you know. Shit, I'm, I'm out the hole. You hear yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I got in there, my nigga Bubba Crib. Bubba Crib out the neighborhood. Say out the Hubba Bubba. Y'all call him Hubba Bubba. At the neighborhood, we had been back there whooping so many niggas, white boys down there. We were down about 30, I was down about 36 good fights. Neighborhood, I don't want to let you know. Neighborhood yeah. is on. Uh, Bears Out Terry. Yeah, Bears Out Terry. Never hear a Crip game, man. Shout out to my nigga Cassius, man. Shout out to Bubba. Shout out to, um, goddamn me, um, yeah. Jimmy Woo. Yeah, shout out to Willie Brown. Yeah, shout out to goddamn me, Lala. Yeah, shout out to AT. Yeah, shout out to David Wayne. Shout out to Blue. Neighborhood niggas. Yeah, that type of shit. <laughs> shout out to Kevin Spencer. OG Kevin Spencer. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Y all, y all talking, side. yeah. My niggas. That's that south side. I'm worldwide, nigga, in the phone. So, um, we get down there and, um, when I get in the hubba bubble, tell me, he said, say, person, they gonna let you out. They not gonna let me out, man. He said, I'm gonna have to go home from back here. He said, but it's a nigga down there, man. That, that name Antoine, man. He had my name. He one got me locked up back in, man. Can you get that nigga for me, cuz? On crib. I said, on crib, cuz. They take me to FOD, I'm gonna get that nigga, cuz. He said, put that on crib. I said on Crip, nigga. If I go to FOD, nigga, I'm gonna get that nigga. I don't know who he talking about. What's his name? Right his name, I got his name, uh, Antoine, man. I yeah. said, okay. His name Antoine, I said, okay. Antoine was off the south side, nigga. South side, nigga, folk work, nigga. Here y'all talking about. Yeah, that, that was the nigga name. So, um, I didn't know the nigga. But I had to put it on Crip. If I see the nigga cut down off in there, me and the nigga gonna get that. I'm gonna get it for you, hubba. Damn, I forgot. That nigga Michael Bird down there with it. So I heard when they took Michael Burr, I was trying to size him up, look through my window, see what the fuck I got when they taking him out of lockup, taking him down there. I couldn't get a picture of the nigga through the gates. So I don't know how big the nigga was or nothing. So here I go, man. I'm on my way to F4D, man. They shackled me down and headed me on out. And while we on our way down there, I kept hearing the law, you know, grab my arm, you, know, you gotta walk like you, act, act like you goddamn a motherfucking slave with the shackles on your feet. And um, nigga told me, say, um, them. Then you get down here, all you can do is protect yourself and be a man. See, I ain't tripping. See, the, the rules in FOD, they give you 30 hard days in that hoe. It's only 30 days. You're only supposed to get 30 days in that bitch. But right. believe me, you're going to feel that 30 days. It's a bad motherfucking 30, nigga. Right, what, what makes it hard? What makes it hard? You get half of everything, nigga. You get half a pair of pants. You get half a shirt down. Say, you get half a goddamn meal, nigga. You hear me? Right. <laughs> Punishment. Punishment. It stay cold off in that hoe. They give you a half a shirt when you get there. You get a half a pair of pants, and you get a half a motherfucking meal, nigga. Yeah. For 30 goddamn, you gonna come out there holding like a greyhound, nigga. Shit, and when you get ready to eat, you don't get no extras, nigga. They gonna line you up out in front of them. It's about seven, eight guards watching you niggas eat. You sit on your chair, you put your plate in your motherfucking lap. You eat what's in front of you. If you don't what's on, want what's on your plate, you throw it in the goddamn trash. You can't give it to your homeboy. You, home you can't switch up or nothing. That's all you get, that's it, that's right. all, nigga, till the day is over. Right. Yeah, it's half of me, everything. Activated. You dig what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> 30 days is a long motherfucking time there, right. 4D. And if you get in there and get into a fight, your 30 days start over in there, 4D. Right. Anytime you fuck up in there, you, your 30 days start over. Wow. Yeah, you can be at 28, goddamn 29, nigga, fuck up. You, your 30 days gonna start over. So anyway, man, they walk me to the cage. Raymond Ross, shout out to Raymond Ross, man. Raymond Ross was down off in that hole. Say, you know, they walked me to the cage, man, and I, and I, and I heard the niggas yelling before I got it. Sound like a bunch of monkeys in the motherfucking cage. 
One thing about the cage, you can't see inside the mother. We got a lot of bar, you know, chicken wall around this motherfucker, man. Now, you got prison balls and chicken wall over this motherfucker. Double, double jeopardy shit. So, uh, I heard the niggas talking and talking, so I'm like, yeah. It's time, it, it's, so, it's so gangster now, you gotta put you in one cell and, and niggas, you see the niggas' faces up, you see the niggas' shadows up on the wall, but you can't see the niggas behind the wall. That's how the, 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 they got the shit yeah, set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they can't see in that motherfucker. Anything can be happening off in that hole, you hear me? You understand me, so on. Um, they put me in that bitch and I was like, okay. I'm here now, person. He said, go in there and take, do your 30-day difference and come on back out. I said, all right, I got you. I went in, bam. I threw my shit on the goddamn boat. I looked around, sized this bitch up. The niggas was looking at me like I was the new nigga. Right. And I yelled that nigga, where Michael Bird at? Where the nigga Michael Bird at? Blood nigga out of dialogue, where he at? Everybody started looking. Then one nigga walked up to me and said, say, look at home. Come on, let me talk to you. That's what I want to talk to you about. What you want to talk to me about? Nah, man, that's what they want to see. They want to see two black men get into it. So, man, fuck all that. Cause where that nigga at? Where the Michael Bird nigga at? One call me the crab nigga. Slob nigga that's had a goddamn dad work. Yeah, where you? Everybody went, bro, with the point that the nigga bump. So I went down there and I hit the nigga on the leg. Say, look out, homie. Get on up, man. Yeah, I'm that nigga that you was talking to last night through the door. There was lock up. Yeah, I'm that nigga right there. You like, what's up? What's up? Boom, boom, boom. I took off on him in the bump. Get your bitch ass up, ho. And, let, and put your shit on, let's go. Back here to the back where y'all fighting at, back in the back. Right. So the nigga got them, I went on back there to the square. He was lacing up, he putting his shoes on. Putting his shoes on. To me, he was taking too goddamn long. Right. I ran back through there and I seen what he was doing, he, he didn't come up off the bunk. Soon as he stood up, I ran into the nigga. I ran into him and I, and I, and I blowed him out, nigga. You hear me? Yeah, and he was square business. And I smoked his game. And then after I smoked his game, I said, man, now where, who was Antoine? Who was Antoine? Y'all know who Antoine is? Everybody hands with the point. Yeah, that's Antoine. Yeah. Say, look at Antoine. He said, yeah, man, he had a he had a little towel. You know how we do in jail. Y'all niggas know. Wrap our whole face up with our towel. That nigga came from under, 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 from under that towel as soon as his eyes came open. I put him right back to sleep. I put him right back to sleep. And that summer bitch flipped off the bed and went into a seizure. He was on side of the bed shaking with blood running out of his mouth, shaking like a motherfucking fish. He was down there flopping like a fish on the goddamn ground. The nigga was having a bad ass seizure. You dig what I'm saying? And I'll be damned. Heard the laws come running through the door on me. I said, God damn, I ain't got the chance to, to put my bunk yeah, together. I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't did, I ain't did 10 minutes in this hole. Yeah. Hey, you talking about? I'm, for, I'm square business. I'm coming in here and I'm taking, I put it on Crip, Bubba Cub. I'm going to do that. I did that. Yeah. I told her, I can't let a nigga call me a slob nigga, a crab nigga, none of that, and I don't get down. That nigga did that, and I smoked his game. You dig what I'm saying? Big, I smoked him. And um, the laws ran back in. Gulf increasing. The laws that didn't like me and one that had his money, he said, God damn, this is when I found out that we had been played like chess. When the laws came in, I said to him, I said, well, there go my 30 days. I got to go back to lock up. I ain't been down in 10 minutes. They already know shit. I got they told everybody get on your racks. It's cold. They heard us in the fight. They heard the fighting going on. As soon as the laws walk in here, the Michael Bird nigga ran up to the law. He said, God damn, he said, this is what he did to me, man. See what he did to me. I heard the law tell him. Say, say, get the fuck out my face, son of a bitch. You just cost me $20. You didn't fight back. But you goddamn ass on my face. I'm like, what the fuck? This motherfucker say he just cost him $20. He didn't fight back. The whole time them laws was sitting in the picket watching us. They already knew what time it was. They knew when they put him in there, them some was square business, and Michael Bird was too. But, it, but man, one man had his money on me, and another man had his money on that nigga, and, they, and we fought like dog for the white folk. Didn't know it though, but it was a white racist unit. Right. But after that, I was the big man. Gulf was the highest lieutenant over there. Lieutenant Gulf. Shout out to Lieutenant Gulf, Jake's brother Lindsey, man. Jake's brother unit, man. Shout out, he, I was his right hand man. He didn't let shit happen to me. He said, Demers, you been fighting? Man, what's up, man? You been fighting, Demers? What's up, man? Y'all gonna take me back to lock up or what? Right. He looked at me and said, oh, hell no. Just unpack your shit and, and, and get ready to do your 30 days. <laughs> get on fire out of here, goddamn. And I was happy. I was happy. I was scratching. Brown eyed, green eyes from goddamn me, Pollywood fell over there a week later. Goddamn me, we rode, on, we rode down on the missions. We would fight. We would fight. We would fight, I would fight every day in that motherfucker. Every time he brought a new motherfucker, he, I would be whooping at the door. Whooped the white boy, one white boy came in there, he was so goddamn big, looked like he been playing football, I looked like a little he-man. 
He bitch pulled his shirt off. He had a big ass, he had uh, Superman, the Superman shit on his chest. But he had the big swash stick, excuse me, the swash stick in the middle. Right. Of the Superman. And I look, is that a fucking, you know, me? My job on the unit was to smash everybody that had racist symbols on them. Didn't know I had to do a lot of fighting every fucking day. Niggas on Leezy will tell you. Niggas on Leezy unit will tell you. Scratch, you can ask the laws on that hoe. If you find, in, you find Lieutenant Gall, Captain, all them niggas, ask them. Them was someone's their worst nightmare on that hoe. Yeah. I'm the one called all the white boys to the church and we was just gonna jump all of them. The fuck you talking about? Make them hoes bring the, 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 the National Guard from the Al Free World to that bitch. We was up in the goddamn church house. We was gonna jump all the white boys this Sunday in the church. So when all of them, and the white boys heard about it, and the niggas heard about it, niggas showed up, and white boys showed up. The church was packed, filled to capacity. It's like packing a gymnasium. And here you had white boys up, them loud smell there. They said, ah! Oh! ran in on our goddamn ass and the ninja turtles. So get out of here. Somebody gave the game up. But to make a long story short, man, right. Lead the unit was a square business unit. I ran into big Daniel, Daniel Wilson over there, Pollywood Daniel. And uh, he was a hard hitter. And I was a hard hitter. So every day, guess what? We gonna hard hit each other. Me and big Daniel Wilson, Bright Street, Crip, yeah. That was my baby. Yeah. That was my big home. Everybody know Daniel Wilson. No, he gonna, I got a shout out to him, man. He, he the truth. He's an OG over there. Had him a nice game. He can't be, he can't be left out to Pollywood, man. I left him out on a lot of stories, but Daniel Wilson, that's my big baby, man. That's my big baby. So one day, me and Daniel Wilson, we was talking shit to each other on the bunk. And every time, we, we'll punch it out every time. And Daniel Wilson, you know, he a big old nigga right now, but back then, that nigga was a big nigga, but he was solid with his hands. Right. And he was light on his feet. <laughs> but he was a big nigga, you understand me? And he had hands. So every night we we get to talking shit and we'll try each other. So one night, I don't know what got into that one of us. He went to talking shit and nigga, I'm like, what's up, Daniel? He like shit, whatever you wanna do, man. Nigga, you know what I wanna do. We can do some punching, nigga. Well, we can do some punching. Here it is. 11, 12, 30 at night. Everybody in the bed sleep. Me and Daniel and caught the middle of the goddamn floor. Dancing. And here you go, we get it. Then he told me, he said, nigga, you, you ain't gonna never hit me with that little three-piece shit you be doing to them, them white boys. Yeah. I said, yeah, I am, nigga. <laughs> I said, I'm gonna hit you with that bad motherfucker. He came over that bitch, he shot his shit up. He said, oh, come on. He had a good block game, good block game. He tried to get in. And then here I got, went and got my pop, 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 pop. One, two, three. That nigga said, oh, we got damn. Then he looked at me, he said, oh, yeah, you got that one, motherfucker, but you ain't gonna get the next one. You know, he, he, he fight, he rolled, when he fight, he rolled with his fight. Yeah. And I ran up in there and I hit him with the other one. Pop, pop, pop. He said, God damn. And me and him just went to trading punches in the middle of the goddamn these flow. And the lights came on. When the lights came on, we knew we was caught. <laughs> the laws are looking. Yeah. That mean, you know, this lights out. That mean the lights out at 12 or something, they don't come on until in the morning, breakfast time. Right. When them lights come on before that, something wrong. And here it is, 12 or something, the lights on. Me and Daniel still in the middle of the goddamn flow. The laws coming up, we still going. <laughs> they took me and Daniel down. We, we boxing it out. We boxing it out. Boxing it out. They locked our ass up. Took me and Daniel and put, a, put us in the shower. He handcuffed me to the shower. I was in and he handcuffed them in the shower across from me. And they walked make out and, and, make us, and they walked out that bitch and left us hanging in that bitch about three or four hours. By this time they left me and Daniel like, God damn. I'll fall asleep with my goddamn hand. I said, this is, this is cruel. This is, this is, this this is Lindsay's unit, this is the white boys' unit. Right, right. They're right. gonna do a nigga any kind of way they want to. But so that's me, the punishment though. That's your punishment. Me and Danny for waking up everybody, y'all in the fight, y'all know y'all tripping, y'all punching it out in the chest boxing, whatever y'all doing, your ass. We talk, we hard playing. Man, we hard playing, we just playing, boss. We just playing, tell them, we playing. We playing, we wanna fight, man. No, they're playing, just, no, just trying to see who we, no, no, fuck that. They left me and Danny hanging in that goddamn shower. By them handcuffs, three or four hours, they came back and got us. By the time they came back and got us, they had took the fight out. <laughs> they had took the fight out of nigga. You hear me? Right, 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 right. Yeah, that mean go take your ass in there and go to bed, motherfuckers. Me and Daniel been partners ever since. Then Daniel got down. Shout out to Daniel Griffin, man. Say I really want to thank you for this, man. One day, a uh, white boy they called him a B a B W D came in, a dirty white boy. D W B gang, remember biker gang, big old biker gang, remember right, came right, in there. Right, right. You know. As soon as he got there, the niggas ran up on him and said they wanted his tennis shoes. <laughs> cool, cool, let me get his tennis shoes. Let me get his. I said, nah, man, come on, boo. I don't know, man, bullshit, man. Nah, nigga, I need some tennis shoes, boo. And so, goddamn me, 
I mean, these niggas want the tennis shoes so bad, I had about five, six niggas that wanted that one pair of goddamn tennis shoes off the white boy feet. But they crip niggas, and they know I don't, I ain't with all that. Right. Y'all chill with that, man. Ooh, cool. I need some tennis shoes, cool. Damn, huh? damn, here y'all niggas go. So I go there and talk to the white boy. White boy, big boy, you know, we, we, we check. Well, I had got to the point, mind y'all when I tell you, when I got there, the white boy was whooping the niggas. Right, right, right. Thanks. Shout out to my nigga, great nigga out of, um, out of goddamn Wichita Falls. My other nigga, great, uh, with the goddamn grill in his goddamn mouth, Wichita Falls, uh, 60, rolling 60 down there. Other nigga, great, so yeah. So, um, nigga came up in that white boy, and the white boy, stand, I said, look at white boy, let me holler at this. I said, say, man, <laughs> man, what, what are you some DWB? And the white boy was square bidding. Right. He wasn't no hoe. He had his head up in his chest out. He wasn't no hoe. He was like, God damn me, uh, what's going on? I said, they want your tennis shoes, man, but I ain't, I ain't trying to let nobody take the shoe. By the time I said that, one of the niggas reached around and catch the white boy. Bitch, come up out the shoe. Like I told you, when I got there, the white boy was whooping the niggas. Before I left, the niggas were whooping the white boys. Fuck yeah. y'all talking about, nigga. Yeah. Stand up. Fuck y'all saying. Y'all know how this shit go. And that nigga reached around and caught the white boy. Bitch, come up out them shoes. Y'all like, nah, no, I don't do that. Hey, the white boy wants to fight him. Ray said, wait, hold on, man. I ain't gonna give you ten shoes, but but I wanna fight him. I wanna fight him. When the white boy said that, I knew the white boy was square bitch. He said, just he stole off on me, man. He said, I gotta I gotta get that with him. I said, oh, this white boy wanna scare. He scared you. You stole off on him because he wanted his paper. You know what I'm saying? He, he ain't giving the shoes up, man. Right, so you respect yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now y'all ain't gonna fuck with his shoe. Leave, let this man have his shoe. Yeah. Leave his shoes alone. Come on all that weak ass shit. Still, now, now, now you got a fight on your hand. Y'all don't get out there with the white boy. You hear me? By this time, the people called in for our child time to come. So him and the white boy didn't get to get their paper at that time. Right. They're going to wait till they get back. So we, we sitting there eating. Eating like a motherfucker. We sitting there talking and eating and shit. And I'm watching the white boy. I'm like, damn, because the white boy square bit. I'm telling nigga, tell white boy square bit. They call the table, you know, when they tell you get up, they tell you table at a time. They call the white boy on them table. White boy didn't walk by me. White boy stole off on me with the tray. Bah! Came across my head, the back of the head with the tray. The white boy did. Nigga, I was the one gonna take up for you. He hit you though? Yes, yes. Why yes. he hit you though? Like? Hey, say, they, they white boys. They right. say, they, they, they say they feel he, he might have felt like I was the muscle. You dig what I'm saying? I was trying to look, he might feel like since I'm the first one approached him, <laughs> he gonna go and get at me too. So when he walked by, the white boy catch me with the tray. Bam! That white boy didn't get to live to see the daylight. You hear me? Yeah, we smoked him. Immediately. Went enough laws in there to get them crip niggas out for him. You dig me? Yeah, you did. What? I jump up off the white. I, I hit the table. I roll up off the table. And I'm on the white boy ass. And there we go. We fighting like a motherfucker. Right. I'm fighting. Daniel, big Daniel, Daniel Griffin fighting. Well. So then one day, we let that white boy make it. Right. Daniel Griffin brother, I mean Daniel, Daniel Wilson brother, Green Eyes, shout out Hollywood Green Eyes, y'all know who Green Eyes out probably is. He fell on the block. And I say now, since you was acting bad up there, now you come down and be doing a lot of fighting down here, nigga. I'll be doing, I say, yeah, I see you made it down here. You know you down there doing the time where the white boy stole my shit when you first get there. Now you done made it down here with the big league. Down here with personnel. I said, we doing a lot, of, I said, matter of fact, let me show you how we doing it over here. Who, now, I told, I told, who is this? Green Eye. This is Green Daniel Eye. Wilson, brother. Okay. They, they, they from, they from Bright Street, Hollywood. Yeah, they're my niggas. Goddamn me. And um, and Green, everybody know Green Eye. I got a picture of him right here. I got a picture of Green Eyes right here. And Big Daniel Wilson right here. I got him and his brother on the picture. Right. They're all, they're on the pictures with me. Yeah. They go Daniel Wilson, Big Dan, the Dan, Big Daniel right there, and his brother Green Eyes right here. They all on the pictures with me. So um, this nigga said me um. I said, we're going to show you how we fight while we rocking down here, my nigga. Let me show you how we rocking. We do a whole lot of fighting down here with the white boy. So the square business white boy just got over there. When he walked on the block, I asked the white boy, I said, what you is? You, know, you one of the racist white boys? Huh? He didn't say nothing to me. He just walked on to his bunk. Like he wasn't trying to hear shit I'm talking about. So having green eyes just happened to come, be coming down there with the white boy. They in the same cabin. Just got put on the block. I said, say green eyes, I'm going to show you how I do it down here. I said, look at white boy. The white boy, he was square, Benny. I right. said, I said, I said, you can't talk? I asked you a question, you can't talk? He said, I don't got an answer to no, but I said, well, come out here and answer this ass with me. Come out here. White boy came right out there to that paint. Remind you, when I got there, all the white boys think they took. Right, right, you understand right, right, me? Right, right, right. White boy didn't hesitate. When I said I beat that white boy down there, the first time I, I banged him up, he ran in, I banged him, banged him, banged him. He hit the ground, he jumped back up. He ran in again, I banged with him again, I banged with him again. He hit the ground, he jumped back up. 
We went to bang it again, bit the bang it again. He got easier and easier. He got every time he came, he got easier he got weaker, and easier. Weaker. He he got easier to me. Yeah, I, yeah, he got real easy, easy. Hit the ground again, he jumped back up again. I looked at him, I said, oh. Nah, go on, on white boy. That's it. Say that bitch like the elephant man. You hear me? You hear me? Everywhere I hit him, I fucked him up. Everywhere I hit him, I nodded his face up. Yeah. Everywhere I hit him, that's my job. I hit fast, I hit I hit solid, and I hit hard. Yeah. That's my thing, hit solid and hard and fast. That's my game. And I bang it, and I don't waste nothing. Yeah. And I was banging it. That white boy had lumps and lots and, and, and a, a thing so big on his motherfucking head. Look like if you busted, that bitch would splat all over your motherfucking face. Yeah. The bitch had a whole, a whole, a whole, yeah, a unicorn. That hoe had a whole nother baseball on top of his head. That was fluid built up on the brown, banging it. You understand me? And shout out to Daniel Wilson. When they came down and locked the black, block down, Daniel took that charge for me. You did me? That's why I'm saying shout out to Daniel Wilson, man. He knew it. He took the charge for me. But he was going home anyway. State jail. You go home anyway. Yeah. They would have prosecuted me. No confirmed game, man. They would have prosecuted. I was already on the I was already told the next the next white boy that filed in here, you better have a pillar to catch him. That's what I was told. He said, the next white boy that fall on this block, you better have a pill in the kitchen, cause any motherfucker come down here and we find another white boy beat up like that again, them, the way I had been beating them motherfuckers up down there. Shit, they said they're gonna send me downtown in their county, read me my rights and prosecute me and give me some more charge and bring me back. And I believe that white man. You dig what I'm saying? He was square business. But ask me that I stop. I could have got charged then. Daniel Wilson took that charge for me and went home. Went home. And I did too. Right on, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Hard time. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I left. I left that motherfucker. I, and I, that's how we left. That story. Tell from a crypt, man. Really. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs>